Just a quick video, I'll link this uh, movie I'm watching right now. It's about veganism, it's about vegetarian and how they're pushing that agenda. And there's a lot of uh, speakers in this movie talking about how we've been lied to about cholesterol and um, how important cholesterol is. And they've basically turned everything upside down so they could sell cholesterol medicines and sell their corn oils and seed oils that are toxic for your system. And um, I'm getting more and more into the keto. I, like I said, I don't like labeling stuff. I'm gonna do what's good for me, so. But I, you know, you can't, sometimes you have to listen to other people, <laughs> you know, you have to get some ideas. And I'm at that point now where I, what I was doing isn't working and um, for health reasons, I have to change, and I see it as a big gift. I've learned a lot, and uh, it's just beginning right now. I mean, I've learned a lot in the last few days, the last couple of weeks, and um, God bless YouTube. There's so much information. It's just so mind-boggling. If you can, when you get, you know, I pray to pray to God, you know, I say, please show me, you know, show me the right thing, you know, show me what I need to do, and then all this stuff falls in line. It's not a coincidence, right? I mean, this loving, godly energy, whatever you want to call it, it's, it's wanting us to be, it wants us to thrive, you know. It wants us to be at the highest level we can be. And sometimes that requires, you know, washing off some of the, some of the debris. And um, we can look at these times of struggle as a cleansing of the debris of the things blocking us from a higher state of, awareness instead of being in this victim mindset which is what we've been co conditioned to be in and if we can be in a mindset of oh gratefulness oh this is I made mistakes but I'm where I'm at now because of my mistakes and use those as you know lessons fuel you use those things as fuel you know and um They'll propel us towards, you know, a higher level, higher level of living. And um, anyway, I'll put a link to this movie. It's really blowing my mind. It's 2017, I think it came out. It's stuff I never really, it's stuff I'd heard about, but I didn't really know. And um, just from following certain people I follow on Twitter, that Mangan, um, he the he has books out too, and I read some of his books. I read a book of his, and um, he talked a little bit about it. But now that they've come out with this new world order, you know, dietary recommendations, you know, to save the planet, it'll kill everybody, but it'll save the planet. And um, it's more important now than ever to start, you know, wisening up to this stuff because it's making us sick. You know, just go down the street, just walk around and look at people, you know. Men are not supposed to have a big gut. They're not supposed to be big and fat. You know, they're supposed to be lean. They're supposed to be working hard. They're supposed to be providing for their families. And women are not supposed to be super skinny, but they're not supposed to be big and fat either. Women are supposed to be able to bear children and able to feed children and be able to nurture your family and we've just gotten so far away from all that they're just flipping everything upside down so it's great information i'm excited i feel like i'm kind of like reborn the last few days i'm still having my my intestinal problem and um it's i don't know if it's getting better it, i'm just i'm in a transition right now so i'm just going with it i'm not in pain and that's i was thinking that today you know at least i'm not in pain and um so anyway, I hope you all are doing well and um, send great love to you. I, I have felt like since I've been doing all this, more and more love, you know, and a little bit more um, softer, a little softer maybe. And um, I think that's a good sign. My body's getting what it needs and it's reflecting on my psychology. So all right, I'll let a uh, link to that. It's cool. Bye.